there's nothing better than going to football matches and watching your team win. The last five or six seasons we've been in low and league, we're, we're definitely winning more games than losing, um, in contrast to our time in the SPFL, uh, when it was probably the, the other way around. Uh, look, for, for me as a player, as a manager, I want my I, I want to win as many games as possible. Now I, I want to win league titles. I want us to get promoted, but only one team can do that a year potentially. Um, so, there's for me as a manager, there's no point in me playing if I don't think that we've got our aim at the end of the season is to be as the best that we can possibly be. And for me, we want to try and get promoted every year. Some re, some years that will just not be a realistic expectation. As long as I'm manager, I'll always aim that we want to start the season. Can we win the league? Um, that's every year that'll be my aim. It's probably more intense now. Um, as a player, I felt that I could go into the park and I could affect the game. Whereas now, once I've named my team, there's not a great deal that I can affect. Tactically, you can change things, you can make subs, but personally, you can't go and do it as a player. Question everything about did I pick the right team in defeat? We could, if it was a draw, could we have done that wee bit more? And I was analysing myself first and foremost every, after every game. So in that way, hopefully I can improve and make my decisions better for the boys in the changing room. We've got guys who have maybe got the pressures of work, maybe guys that have no they're in new work, got family life where it could maybe be a, something going on in the background. You've got to be a social worker. You've got to be there when you, they need you, but also you've got to give them a wee dunt when they need it, <laughs> to put it politely. So you, you've got to, and through time you just get a wee hunch as to when you think, right, that person's doing not going to hear a word to them, or vice versa. It's just about trying to know your players and get the best out of every one of them, because not every one of them is the same, and you've got to read the, read the room as such with them. Throughout my time, you probably get to know the vast majority of the fans. They're the lifeblood of this club. Without them, we'd be really struggling. It's, but we've always, always had... I, I go back to when I first started, um, the £10 a week days. We were really struggling for victories. And they supported us home and away. Yeah, I was thankful of the days when you had support for all the fans. Follow Salford City, and every match we went to, we'd always check for the Sterling should score. <coughs> excuse me, because there's usually a nil after it, and we just got this thing that we'd have to go and watch them play. So we did, and here I am, still stuck watching the Shire. The clubs, to me, is not just about coming to football. It's it's about being involved. It's more like a family. Because like you've been there that long, you know all the fans, you know, you know, you basically know everybody, you know it's the ins and outs of it. And as times go on, it just becomes ingrained in you. Well, football is, is my favourite sport. It's my only sport, and the Shire are just like they mean everything as a football team. They're they mean they mean the same thing to me as 
uh, a Celtic means to a Celtic fan or Aberdeen means to an Aberdeen fan or you know it's it's no people seem to say like it's some kind of amazing task you or like uh, uh, altruistic thing you're doing being a Shire supporter but they're what they are my team and that's all I know you know and that's what that's what it all it means. It's difficult to put it in words it's everything I mean I've been coming to the Shire for my entire life I played football for the Shire Colts my entire life until I gave it up it's just I just couldn't imagine a Saturday without it like I'm lost in the summer um, counting down the, the Saturdays until we get to go back out I mean it, it really has just been my life, to be honest with you. I mean, I supported the Shire throughout the 2000s when they were terrible, getting eight points in a season. You know, got a book written about us called Pointless. You know, like one of the worst professional clubs in, in Britain was what they were calling us. So we knew that it was going to happen and it hurt. Like when we got relegated, it really did. Um, but we've came down, it's, it's been fresh, it's a different setup. You're not playing the same teams four times a season, it's twice a season. And it makes the games like, well, I mean, you've seen the atmosphere tonight, we've had twi twice we've played Bonnes and, and the games have been massive and it just kind of gives it a bit of that better feel, so it's, it's been nice, a nice change. I think that as a football club, as a player, you want to go and play as high as you can and I think that when you step on the pitch, you go and win games. Winning games ultimately wins titles and that's, that is ambition. Obviously this year, Bonnie Rig deserve champions, hopefully they can date in the playoffs because it stands well for the Lowland League, if they can go up. Us playing on a Saturday or a, during the week, that can make or break their weekend. And it's people that come every single week that basically make the club survive. Without without the fans, as the old saying goes, without fans, football's nothing.